Mm-hmm. Ah. My hair looks so janky mess today. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, okay? It's going to be a little bit different. I am going to be showing or sharing with you guys the things that I regret buying makeup edition. I mean, obviously I'm a makeup channel, but you know what I mean. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Sephora app on my Ulta app and I'm going to pick the things from 2021 that I have purchased and I do not like and I'm going to share them with you and let you know. I was going to go through like all of my stuff and like pull them out. Here's the problem. I, if I don't like something or I don't use it, I immediately declutter it. Like I either give it to my girls, give it to my family or get rid of it. So I don't really have them to be like, oh, so what I probably should start doing is like a pile or a box where I hold them until like the end of the year or something and do it like that. But I didn't do that this year. So my buying history is where we're gonna go. Let's look up orders and we're gonna go all the way down. All the way down. So Siate London, the Miss Piggy All About Me. I actually did not like that. It was in my recent declutter for my face powders and stuff. Um, it wasn't a, something I liked. I didn't like the texture of it, it just uh, it just wasn't. Uh, the next thing was the Kevin Aquan foundation balm. I literally got rid of that the day that I had done a video on it because I absolutely hated it. I did keep the brush, but the I didn't like the feeling of the foundation. Like it just wasn't, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all, so I didn't wanna keep it. Like I said, most of the time when I have something that I really dislike, for the most part, if I know I dislike it, I get rid of it immediately. But sometimes like the Miss Piggy and Ciate palette, I'll try to keep trying it because like maybe there's ways that I'm using it that are not right. But for the most part, if I dislike it, it's gone. So the next thing that I regret buying for this year is the Charlotte Tilbury Genius Under Eye Face Magic Setting Powder. I have said this, I think, in a couple of videos after I bought it. I actually believe that I still have it because it was so godly expensive. Um, but I actually didn't purchase this until I watched a Jaclyn Hill video. She said she has dry skin and this was like an amazing product and I put it on my under eye in no, like I don't know what is in that, but I could feel my skin just like crinking, just creaky, creaky. It was just absorbing every bit of natural oil I had on my skin up out of it. So I just literally, and I've tried it like three or four times and I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. It's just a setting powder, but it's hot garbage. Like it's so excited. It was costing $45 and it's hot garbage would never recommend that to a single soul. Uh, the next thing is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. This was really big on TikTok and the Glow PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner. These are supposed to be like really good for people with dry skin, but every time I've used them, it continuously dries my skin out like severely dries it out. And I thought maybe it was like my eczema. I was having issues with my eczema. If you guys are not new here, then you know, you've seen my life update video. So I just, I stopped using it. And recently, like obviously my eczema has gotten so much better. My skin is so much more hydrated. It's healthier. And I tried it. And literally the next day I woke up with so much dry skin and I was just like, I'm back to step one. What happened? So I think that they are the culprit. I'm not a fan and I will never use it again. I'm gonna declutter it when I do my skincare decluttering. Okay, so the next thing that I actually have on my regret to buy list uh, <laughs> is the Fenty Beauty Bright Eye Bright Brightener Concealer. I don't think it's a bad product. It's just not for me. I do m prefer more of a full coverage, so I do love her Pro Filter Concealer. I just do not like the formula of this concealer. I don't like the tube it comes in. I don't know. I just, I thought I liked it and I used it for a little while. I'm like, the more you, you know how the more like you use something, the more you realize like, I actually don't like this product. That was like the situation with this for me. So it was definitely a regret buy. So the next things are the Huda Beauty Glow Wish multi Dew Vegan Skin Tint Foundation. That is such a long name for a foundation. And then also the Glow Wish Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder. Um, I disliked actually 
both of them. I just decluttered the bronzer. One, two medium was extremely too light for me and I find that hard to believe because two medium is kind of where I am with everything, but not the point. The Glowish Skin Tint, I thought it was gonna be like a easy, like the ease drops from Fenty, but it was more like a liquid highlighter. So more like art cosmetic situation from Sam Ravendahl. It's like that, like it's more like a luminizer than it is actually a skin tint. Like I wouldn't just wear that and not wear something else. Maybe it was just me, I don't know. I didn't like it, I got it in four light medium and it just was not, mm -mm. I didn't like it at all. I didn't like what it did to my skin. It just didn't look pretty. The next thing is I tried a the Rare Beauty Mini Lip Souffle Matte Creams and I don't like them. I don't like the texture. It reminds me of the Jaclyn um, lip blush situation that she has. I don't know what it is about the texture of those kind of lip products that I just I don't like on my lips at all. I don't like on my lips. I'm not wearing them. I, don't, I literally wore them one time and I won't do it again. The Milk Makeup um hydro grip eyeshadow primer and you guys know like i love my milk makeup primer it is one of my favorite primers it will always be one of my favorite primers but the hydro grip and conceal primer i didn't like that it didn't do anything that it said it was supposed to do it wasn't i don't know it just felt really weird on my eyes i didn't like it down here i prefer the jacqueline cosmetics one over that one so that was definitely a regret buy for me. Uh, the next thing was actually recently I got it on a sale. It is the Bite Beauty um, Agave like pre-makeup lip oil situation. Uh, it comes with a plastic applicator and I really, really, really hate it. Just so we're clear. Like, I tried to use it twice. I don't like it. It doesn't feel like it's really going into my lips to hydrate them. It just feels like it's sitting on top. I absolutely hate it. I don't know why. And I gave it to my girls because I don't like it. And I'd tell you whether or not I like the Natasha Denona Love Eyeshadow Palette that I got. But I still haven't opened it. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Next one. We're getting close. We're in November of 2021. There were lots of things that I loved. I got the Sephora Collection 4-Piece Facial Razor Set. It was a sale situation for the Rouge sale. Um, do not buy those. They scratched up my skin so bad. I shaved my face and I have for many years. Okay, that's nothing new. But these are the worst razors I have ever had. They cut up my face so bad. I will never, ever, 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 ever use them again. And I think that was the last order from Sephora. I did more. I definitely did more beauty shopping on Ulta this year than I did Sephora. So for my 2021s from Ulta, things that I regret buying are a significant amount of the Tula products. I will tell you, since reviewing that video, and it is still getting quite a bit of hits, I'll put it up here for you guys to see. I still stand by everything and how I feel about it. The Signature Glow Refreshing and Brightening Face Mist, I do not use anymore. That was something I liked. I didn't like it. Um, the eye cream, I still don't like. The Detox in a Jar, I still don't like. The Beauty Sleep Overnight Repair Treatment is actually okay. I kept using it, and now that I'm not having severe issues or flare-ups with my eczema, it's even better. So I like that one. The Get Toned, still hated it. The Cult Classic Purifying, I loved it, and I still use it. The 24-7 Moisture Hydrating Day and Night Cream, I, I like it. I don't hate it. But I do I regret buying it? Yes, because it's $52. And there are so many other things you can be hydrating your face with for less than $52. So I would definitely say that most of that entire situation was a regret. Um, I regret buying the ABH Brow Free Styling Wax. It's trash. You can't change my mind. I freaking hate it. I have tried every way of using it. I hate it. It's the worst product of 2021. That is it. That is where I stand. I'm <laughs> very passionate about that one. Um, I regret buying the e.l.f. Cosmetics camo sponge. I know that sounds like such a weird thing to be like, I regret buying it. It was too soft. It's usually the opposite when it comes to the lower end beauty sponges. They're usually too stiff or too hard. This was not the case. It was way too soft for me. I didn't like it. I did not like it. The next thing is the KVD Edge of Reality Fully Recyclable Eyeshadow Palette. Dude, I still have that palette even though I hate it and I regret buying it. 
but I still have it and I literally only used it the one time. Like most of these eyeshadows are untouched, unswatched, untainted. I just don't, I don't know. It just really wasn't, it wasn't that good if I'm being honest with you. And then the next thing is actually in the same exact order, uh, the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I hated this mascara. I have got to be the only person in the beauty community on the face of this earth that hated this mascara. Everyone else loves it. And I'm just like, it was trash. And maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I don't know how to apply mascara. Maybe I should quit YouTube because I'm an idiot, an imbecile. But whatever I did, it was clumpy. It was dry. They looked like spider legs. There was nothing beautiful or sky high about it. Okay. I just did. They were, it was bad and I'll never buy it again. You cannot change my mind. That's another one. You cannot change my mind. Uh, the next item is that I regret buying. These are some really good ones. I'm glad I got to Ulta. The Hydra Mist um, Set and Refresh Powder by Becca. It's supposed to be like a cooling effect. They did the same thing the Charlotte Tilbury pow Magic Powder did. It like sucked the life out of my skin and just made it so crusty, musty, and dry, and I hated it. The NYX Bear With Me Luminous Tinted Skin Serum. Hated that. Hated it. I don't even think I still have that. Revline, um, the older one, the one step hair dryer. I think they like came out with a newer version, which is smaller, rounder. I'll try that. But the one that I got last year was fucking hot garbage. Okay. It was trash. Didn't like it. Did not at all. The Maybelline Express Brow 2-in-1 Pencil and Powder Trash. Throw it away that day. Didn't even give it to anyone. Threw it away. It was garbage. Do not waste your money on it. And then the last thing, honestly, from this year, from these that I can think of that I really regret buying is the Superstar NYX Advent Calendar situation. It was not for me. It was just not my journey. I don't know why I bought it. Honestly, I wish I hadn't, but I did. So that's where we are with that. But I really, I did a video on that um, and I'll link it here, but it was, it just wasn't good. To me like I just feel like it just wasn't I didn't like it I'm um, another thing that I regret buying I'm actually just looking back on like my YouTube videos just to see if like there's stuff that I bought that was outside of Ulta and Sephora which there always is um the Morphe and um Ariel brushes I actually just recently started washing them I have a lot of brushes okay so it takes me a very long time to actually get to the point where I have to wash all of my brushes because I'll use them and I put them off to the side and just kind of let them sit which I know is not really good but just anyways Moving on to the point. My point is I washed them and they cracked. Morphe brushes. They cracked. So what? It's not even just, you know what? I'm taking that. I'm taking it back. It is not the Morphe and Ariel collection. It is the entire Morphe brush line because they're the only brushes that crack when I wash them. And this time it was only two. It was a Jacqueline Cosmetics brush and it was a Morphe and Ariel br brush. I'll put them up here so you can see them so I'm not fibbing. And it happens all of the time. It happens all of the time and it just, I'm done. Like I don't know that I'm going to be buying any more of their brushes because the hairs get all messed up when you wash them. The freaking handles crack. I just have started to think that maybe cheaper is not the best idea. So yep, hated those, I don't know. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something. I'm not gonna buy them anymore, I don't think. Um, now that I'm done being dramatic. And I guess my last huge buy of 2021, if I could say, would probably be, probably be, the Huda Beauty mystery bags. I think that those bags were some BS okay <laughs> I just feel like that they were a way to get rid of some product and also make some money and not have to like put a lot of stuff on sale whatever uh I think that if you were trying like who to out and you wanted to like get something that would be okay but then there was a lot of times with like duplicate eyeshadow palettes duplicate um bags so and there were like three different launches I actually did not get the third one I said no 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 ma'am, you're not getting my money this time. So that was probably one of my biggest regrets of this year because I paid a lot of money for them. I paid $89 for each of the big ones and then I forget how much I paid for the one small one I got too just to kind of see the difference. So I definitely think that that was my biggest regret of the year, but that's it. 
like those are the all the ones I regret if I remember anything else I will obviously update you in the comments because I love going oh by the way I forgot to fucking tell you this and so if I remember anything while I'm editing or going through my makeup or something I will let you know things that I regret buying if you guys want to see like the things that I enjoyed buying or my favorite things that I bought in 2021 they may not be like new launches but it might be new to me and if I liked them so maybe I'll do that let me know down below do you want to see like a uh, favorite favorite purchases of 2021 I don't you get it you get it okay but I hope you guys like this video if you did give it a thumbs up for me make sure you're subscribed make sure you're subscribed comment down below and let me know one thing one beauty thing that you regret purchasing this year and why I need to know I love knowing these things okay as always guys I love you and I will see you on the next one bye